This conference is certainly a special occasion for those who work in the fields of agri, nutrition, and health. But it's also important to, nearly, to all of the nearly 8 billion who live on Earth today. It is important to us all because the conference concerns itself with matters that matter to us all. Agri, nutrition, and health. Madam Chair, without being alarmist, I would want to remind us of some of the global nutrition statistics that require our action. Recent statistics show that nearly 460 million adults globally are underweight, and almost 2 billion, that's 1.9 billion, are overweight. Among children under five, some 155 million are stunted, and 41 million are overweight. To address these challenges, the World Health Organization and partners recommend we deploy what they refer to as double duty actions. These actions include promoting, supporting, and protecting exclusive breastfeeding. They also include some of the things Senator talked about, promoting healthy food environment. In my opinion, engagement in agri, nutrition, and health would facilitate effective delivery of double duty actions in Africa. And nowhere are these actions needed than in Africa where we are dealing with a double burden of malnutrition, overnutrition, and undernutrition. Unfortunately, over the years, high-level continental health and nutrition policies, for example, the 2003 Maputo Commitment, the 2014 Malabo Declarations, and recently, the 2015 to 2025 African Regional uh, Nutrition Strategy, and the AUC's um, Agenda 2063, all focus on reading Africa of hunger and food insecurity. Without a doubt, we are leaving overnutrition behind. And that is why some of us at the African Nutrition Society have advocated and continue to argue that if we do not address malnutrition in all its forms, the dreams of Agenda 2063 and the African Regional Nutrition uh, Strategy would remain an illusion. I wish you a delightful, stimulating, and a productive conference. Thank you.